next topic of conversation is on distributing expressions. This is going to be expanding expressions using the distributive property, something you learned in sixth grade. Our vocabulary to work with word today is distribute. That means to expand an expression by multiplying the term on the outside of the parentheses to each term on the inside of the parentheses. So if I multiply 5 by x, I also have to multiply 5 by 2. That leaves me with 5x plus 10. So once I have expanded my expression, I get 5x plus 10. All right, let's give it a shot. Expand the expression 4 parentheses x plus 1. This means 4 times x plus 1. So I'm going to take my 4 and I'm going to multiply it by x. And I'm going to take my 4 and multiply it by 1. 4 times x is 4x and 4 times 1 is 4. So my simplified or expanded expression is 4x plus 4. To see what this means drawn, it means that we've got x plus 1, which is right here, repeated four times. x plus 1, x plus 1, x plus 1, and x plus 1. We've repeated that four times. That's going to leave you with four x's and one, two, three, four, four ones. If you go back and look at the last, the last slide gave us the same answer, four x plus four. Example number two is eight times parentheses 3x minus 4y. That means you're going to do this term eight times. So I can say eight times 3x, and then I can say eight times negative 4y. So 8 times 3 is 24. That's 24x. And 8 times negative 4 is negative 32y. Since adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting a positive, I could also write this like 24x minus 32y. Make sure you're writing these in the blocks that are provided for you. Example number three says 3x times parentheses 4x plus 10. Again, I'm going to take my 3x and multiply it by 4x. And I'm going to take my 3x and multiply it by 10. So 3x times 4x is like saying 3 times 4 times x times x. And we know that 3 times 4 is 12, and x times x is x squared. 
plus 3 times 10 is 30. So that's 30x. So there is our expanded expression, 12x squared plus 30x. Have you noticed yet that the distributive property is the opposite of factoring an expression? That's something important to know. Because if I had to factor this expression right here, the greatest common factor would be 3x. I can pull a 3 out of the 12 and an x out of here. And I can pull a 3 out of the 30 and an x out of here. So if I pulled a 3x out or I factored it out, I would be left with 4x plus 10, which is what we started with. So factoring is the opposite of distributing. This is example four. Example four is telling you to distribute a negative to each one of your terms on the inside of your parentheses. That's like saying negative 1 times 2x squared plus negative 1 times negative 5. Negative times a positive is going to be a negative. That's negative 2x squared. And a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. So that's positive 5. So once we expanded, we get negative 2x squared plus 5. Okay, this is example 5. This says expand the expression or simplify the expression. But this is a bit tricky. First, we need to distribute the 4 inside the parentheses. So we're going to have 4 times x plus 4 times 5, but it's still all divided by 2. So that's 4x plus 4 times 5 is 20 divided by 2. Then we're going to have to divide this by 2 and also divide this term by 2. So 4 divided by 2 and 20 divided by 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that's 2x. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. So that is our simplified expression right there, 2x plus 10. Those of you who are advanced thinkers could also have said 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that's 2 times x plus 5, which is 2x plus 10. Two ways to think about it. All right, here's an application for example number 6 where you have to find the perimeter of this rectangle. A couple things that we already know. Perimeter of a rectangle is adding up the outside. And we know that a rectangle has two sides that are the same length. So if this is a length, then this must also be two parentheses x squared plus four. And if this is a width, then this must also be four parentheses x plus five. So in order to find the perimeter of this, I need to add up all of the outside. I need to add up two parentheses x squared plus four plus two parentheses x squared plus four. And then I need to add the width, 4 parentheses x plus 5 
plus 4 parentheses x plus 5. So if I distribute this coefficient to each of the terms on the outside, Two times x squared is 2x squared. Two times four is eight. And again, two times x squared is two x squared. And two times four is eight. Four times x is four x. And four times five is 20. So again, I have 4 times x and 4 times 5. So if I use the MIA method, as we call it, then I can draw squares around things that have an x squared, including the sign. I can draw circles around constants and I can draw triangles around things that are x to the first power. So add up things that have a x squared, 2x squared plus 2x squared is 4x squared, and add up things that are triangles, 4x plus 4x squared 4 is 8, so that's 8x, and then add up things that are constants, 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 8 is 48, plus another 8, is 56. That leaves me with a perimeter of 4x squared plus 8x plus 56. Nice work. Your job now is to make sure your step-by-step -step notes are completed, summarize how to expand an expression using the distributive property, and then take your quiz on Edmodo. Once you're finished, we will apply what we've learned.